direct to you and in your face. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. All right, for the next 15 minutes or so, we are joined by Dr. Mayor Eisenstein. We sell his book. This is the one big book we sell on vaccination. And it's an amazing book. Don't vaccinate before you educate. This is the book to give friends, family, neighbors to inform them about what's really happening. Dr. Mayor Eisenstein is a graduate of the University of Illinois Medical School, the Medical College of Wisconsin School of Public Health, and the John Marshall Law School. Uh, in his 33 years in medicine, he has practice, uh, have uh, cared for more than 75,000 patients, grandparents, and children. He is board certified by the National Board of Medical Examiners, American Board of Public Health and Preventative Medicine. He's like a super doctor and a lawyer. And the American Board of Quality Assurance and Utilization Review Physicians. He is the recipient of the Howard Fellowship, Health Professional Scholarship, University of Illinois School of Medicine Scholarship, and a member of the Illinois Bar. He is the author of Give Birth at Home with the Home Birth Advantage Safe Medicine. Don't vaccinate before you educate. Unequivocally dangerous medical hazards of HRT and unlocking uh, nature's pharmacy. His medical film uh, is, uh, which means in Latin, above all, do no harm. They've gotten rid of the Hippocratic Oath, so that's good to still keep that alive. And a documentary on harm birth was an award winner at the Chicago Film Festival. And uh, homefirst.com is just one of his websites, homefirst.com. Doc, I got you on about vaccines, and it's been too long. It's been like two years since I've had you on. Uh, there is so much to go into, but we were talking during the break. Uh, please repeat the point you made when I was first talking to you. Let me tell you, Alex, it is, it is a true report, uh, uh, a comment. You know, uh, uh, as I've been following this, you know, I, I've been blessed. I'm a student of the late Dr. Mendelssohn, so I knew that vaccines were dangerous because he knew about that 35 years ago. And so most of my practice and none of my children have been vaccinated. But, but you were talking about eugenics, population control, that they have different stuff in the vaccines. Um, your material's gotten soft, Alex. I mean, this is mainstream media that they're picking up on this, you know. Uh, I mean, I wanted to know something interesting. I, I looked at Fox News yesterday online, and they, they talked about that uh, the latest czar, Dr. John Holdren, um, who's a nasty, nasty person. I mean, and, and we're going to talk about him for a minute. You know, he wants to push this vaccine in September, you know, uh, but and he's the one who uh, co-authored a book with, Dr. Paul Ehrlich in the 70s about eugenics and everything. I mean, he, he, you know, they, they openly said it, you know, um, and he's the one who wants to put this, push this. But so, so they talked about how, how 90,000 people are going to die. 100 people commented. 95% have been listening to Alex Jones, or I thought they were. Uh, there, there's mercury, you shouldn't take the vaccine. There's squalene, you shouldn't take the vaccine. Dr. Tenpenny said you shouldn't take the vaccine. I, I, I thought I was looking at an alternative medicine blog. Unbelievable. You're soft, Alex. you got to get better material. you got to make up some stuff. The New World Order, it, it's all real. That's what's so, It's frightening. It's absolutely well, here's frightening. the issue, and you're right. Actually, a lot of conspiracy theorists do start getting into the earth is hollow and has space aliens in it and Alex Jones is a reptoid because all the mainline stuff has been admitted now so it doesn't have that shock value. But right. no, I just go off the government documents. I go off of what I'm aware of. That's why now it's all mainstream news because they're carrying their program out. But because we planted all those seeds and, and, and you and others valiantly did as well, now we're having a big effect and you're right. I see articles about the government health care, the vaccines, uh, message boards on mainline newspapers in Europe, in Texas, uh, England. And you're right, nine out of ten or more. When you said 95%, that's more like it. And people can right. go see this for themselves. They're all awake. They know. And I think the eugenicists, just like with Hitler, you know, Hitler was a popular guy in 1936, 37, 38. Time Magazine, you know, great guy. Eugenics is great. But as soon as you stand up to them, they collapse. And I think that's starting to happen. But go ahead. Paper Tigers. Well, you know, I, I just have to add a little bit something. You said 30% of doctors, that was the report out of uh, England where they're about to do it. But 
said they will not administer or, or take this swine flu vaccine. But it's even more. 35% more said they didn't, they weren't sure. Which means only, only about 25% said they would do it. Well, that's an F in every class I've been at. I, boy, I've been in a lot of classes in my life. You know, it's, I, I think the, I think the public has, has gotten well informed. I think there's so much material. You have done, really, I want to commend you. You've done an incredible job. You have talked and talked until people say, hey, wait a minute, Alex may be telling us something that's real. You know, and, and so it's really exciting. You know, I'm, I'm really not that worried what's going to happen. I've told all my families, uh, 50% of the families who come to us homeschool their children. So they have a little bit of protection. I've told those who go to school, uh, uh, it, you may have to keep your children out of school. So what? Big deal. What's going to happen? They're going to end up at Harvard, Yale, because the kids don't go to school like that. Don't waste their time at school. The ones who end up at the top school, you know. And but I, I think that that they are so afraid. See, I tell you, Alex, add conspiracy theory, not even conspiracy theory. The vaccine manufacturers know that the vaccine doesn't work. They, they know that. They absolutely know it's never worked. You pointed it out. The swine flu in '76 didn't work. Every year, the, the seasonal flu vaccine doesn't well, work. Well, sir, you're the medical doctor, so take your time. Go through that, and then walk through these mercury and squalene adjuvants, uh, how, what they're causing in the body. As a top medical doctor, uh, break it down for us. Well, you know, uh, let me give you what I think their game plan is. Um, they they weren't worried about giving uh, the the swine flu vaccine in September when they knew that swine flu wasn't going to be an issue. Um, but now they're concerned it may be an issue and people may die from it. I mean, that's not even a question. So they, they can't, they couldn't give the vaccine in September. And then see, the majority of the, the flu season is between September and the end of October. That's when the people get sick and die. After that, it t- tends to be milder no matter what. Yeah, well, they've got 50 years of history on this. And so they realized that, that when this may be real, if they gave the vaccine in September, inoculated 300 million people in this country, and 100,000 people die, their whole vaccine program with all the other childhood vaccines could go down the drain. So they took the vaccine that they had, they put it in storage, and they said, we can't come out with it until the end of October. Now, uh, uh, John Haldren, Dr. John Haldren, not an MD, not a medical doctor, but yet he's the director of the White House Office on Science and Technology Policy. You know, um, and he said, no, it is so imperative that you have to water it down and give it in the middle of September. The drug companies now come back to him. Now, I'm, I'm making this up, but he, and say, oh, we're happy to give you water down because we'll tell you it most probably doesn't work. So now we're covered either way. We've made our money in September, and if it doesn't work, we say, you see, it ha- we have to wait until we have the right amount, you know. And so that's the whole thing, you know. All the other stuff, the mercury, the squalene, you know, are, I mean, mercury is, a, is one of the most known toxins, and, and now they're trying to back off and pretend it's not in the vaccine. But it's not only Alex Jones or Sherry Tenpenny who's saying it. The Wall Street Journal ran the article, the New York Times ran the, ran the article, the Washington Post, or I like to call it the Washington Compost, you know. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> you know, and so, it, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's so out there. It, you know, I think it becomes, Alex, one of these points where all these, these misinformed or non-thinkers, you know, go along, go along, until they say, hey, wait a minute, I'm the next one who's going to be put into the concentration camp. You know, and, and I think, uh, and, and I can tell you something came out this morning, which is great, because I heard you mention um, Mike Adams, uh, who's just, just fabulous. He came out with a, a video, everyone's gone to uh, YouTube, look at his video, it says, um, uh, uh, don't inject me, it is just great, and just, you know, and you know, I, I think now they're, they're less worried about the damage they can cause with mercury and squalene, both toxic chemicals. Squalene has never been approved for use. I mean, uh, um, and they're more worried that they could lose the whole program. What does it mean, the whole program? The polio, the DPT, the measles, mumps, and rubella. Because once people start doubting, all of a sudden the truth starts coming out. Well, sir, I know three years ago you looked at the trials. I covered it. I had other medical doctors on. I had families, women whose children had died on the show just in the trials with the HPV shot the human papilloma, Gardasil, right. and then now the FDA, uh, FDA comes out last week and says, yeah, we may put a warning out on this. From your medical research, is it the virus or the uh, the adjunct uh, or the thing that triggers the 
uh, immune system. Why is that shot killing people? Well, you know, I, I, I think all of them are, but, but this one is more remarkable because you're dealing with teenage, young teenage uh, girls, and so it becomes more dramatic. If, if a 4-year-old or a 5-year-old dies, they can attribute it to something else, you know, uh, asthma, bronchitis, you know. Uh, um, but when a, a healthy, good-looking teenager who's a cheerleader, who's 13, 14, or 15 years old, and those are the ones who have been dying because they're the ones who are getting the vaccines right now, it, you know, Stalin said it the best. The death of one person is a tragedy. The death of 10,000 is a statistic. And I think we've finally taken used know what to do. You know, um, I don't know. You know, I don't know the answer. Except Dr. Mendelssohn back in the 70s just made the blanket statement after he was the national medical director of Head Start, which means he was the top pediatrician in the country when it came to uh, uh, the government program.